What up, Frugal Babes and Frugal Bobs? It is your girl, Crazy Karens. It has been a while since I've seen you. I have been off of social media for 30 days and it has been awesome. But I wanted to share with you guys something that I did during my 30 days off of social media that was very frugal in nature, saved me some money, and was very fun. So just keep watching. All right, y'all. So as I said, I've been off of social media for 30 days. Awesome. I'm not going to tell you everything that I did on those 30 days, but I will share with you one thing because it has a lot to do with my whole Frugal Mom series and saving money and getting out of debt, all that good stuff. So I don't think that you should sacrifice taste and sacrifice your decor because you're living a frugal life. If you want to have nice things, you can still have nice things if you DIY it. I am not the best DIYer. But I wanted to give something a try. So y'all, I like to sew and I was trying to vlog about how I made some curtains and you'll see the footage after I do this little recap right now. But I was trying to set up my camera and show you how I was sewing and putting things together but my kids were being like uber wild. So the footage is gonna be really, really choppy. So I'll just give you a quick recap now. I whipped out my sewing machine, y'all, and I actually started sewing up some curtains. I had long curtains in my kitchen and in my bedroom and in my kids' bedroom, but my kids are toddlers now and they're really starting to like pull on things and yank things and break things. So I switched it up and I put shorter curtains, kind of like a valance, you know, in my kitchen. And I'm like, these look cool. I had bought them at a thrift store, like six bucks. And I'm like, I don't want to spend more money, so what can I do? I had some old curtains, and I kind of eyeballed, I had no pattern, I eyeballed the curtains that were in my kitchen, and I created valances for my bedroom. So what you're gonna see right now, it's like super duper choppy, you know, footage, but you'll get a gist of this little DIY project that I did. Did it cost me anything? No, nothing, because I already had all the materials in my house. Uh, the only thing that it cost me was a, was a little bit of time and effort, and it was good time and good effort because it was creative in nature. So I hope you enjoy this, y'all. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, y'all. Subscribe if you haven't done so. You know the deal. Share this video with whoever you think might enjoy watching my craziness, y'all. And I hope to see you back next week. I love you. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my little sewing machine out. And I was like, I want to do something. Because my children are like pulling on my curtains and whatnot. And I bought these curtains. See them up above? I got them at my thrift store called Unique. I love Unique. Got them for like $6. But I'm like, I don't think I want to spend another $6 on curtains because y'all, I'm frugal. I'm not cheap. I'm frugal. And I have some old curtains, these old blue curtains that are long and they've just been hanging out in my closet for a few months. And I thought to myself, why not repurpose them and create that curtain that you saw above for my bedroom so I don't know I'm gonna try my best but while I'm taking out this curtain I'm gonna tell you a little story about my um, sewing machine I have always liked doing like arts and crafts uh, knitting crocheting all that good stuff and I've always wanted a sewing machine not that I'm any good at it <laughs> don't get it twisted I am not good at sewing I don't know how to make a skirt I don't know how to make a dress. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I can sew in a straight line. That's about it. But <clears throat> I remember being in college and just kept saying to my family, I want a sewing machine. I want a sewing machine. And my mom thought that I was kidding. And I was like, no, like I want a sewing machine. So I remember when I graduated with my master's degree, they took me to Red Lobster, which by the way, Red Lobster is not my favorite restaurant. My family likes it, so they took me to Red Lobster. I don't think it was because they wanted to take me. They wanted to take themselves to Red Lobster, okay? So, and there's my kid saying hi, okay? <laughs> Say hi, mommy, okay? So, um, yeah, we went to Red Lobster, and they gave me this present of a sewing machine, and I was like, oh, they actually got it. Say hi, mommy. So, they got me this machine. I've had it... God, when did I graduate with my master's? 
2004. Uh, and it is 2019, so that's what, 15 years I've had this machine. But I don't be using it a lot, okay? But I need to. So, okay, let's get to sewing. All right, first things first, this is like, you know, like a big old panel. And it's these types of curtains. So, I guess I'm going to sew this down, right? Okay. And then once I sew this down, uh, I guess I'm going to have to sew the panel in half, right? Like that. And then I bought some strips and then I'll, I'll attach the strip. It sounds easy, but I'm like 92.5% sure that I'm going to mess it up, but I'm going to try anyway. <laughs> Here I go. All right, so I have, I've pinned it. I only use two pins because I don't feel like taking out more pins. Um, my kids are driving me crazy. Oh no, I'm missing something on my sewing machine. Hold on. Okay, I just spent like the last 10 minutes trying to find this little piece. I mean, I don't know what that's called. It looks like a lip, I don't know, like a little sleigh thing, whatever. Um, oh, my kids, man. So between trying to find that piece and my kids being kids, it's uh, it's interesting. But I think I think we're ready to roll. And my son just put mucus all over me. Yo, parent, oh, and now he's walking into the shop. Jack, please. Oh my God, this is not working, guys. Hi, right, Jack. Please. I, it's so hard to vlog with children. But we are. No me ponga eso. Yo te di. Vamos a parar esto. My kids are driving me crazy. But, hey, my daughter. I can't. I really can't. But I got I got it done. I wish I could, like, hold this up a little bit better. But I just sewed. This is going to be, like, the worst vlog ever, but it is what it is. Okay, I just sewed the panel together. So the part with the rings, like, you can't see it because it's completely sewn together. And I used brown um, thread because it's what I had. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a white thread on the back because it's what I had. <laughs> Let's keep going. Okay, so I went to Walmart and I got these little like, like, um, I guess like cuts of yarn. You hear me? Yarn. Cuts of fabric. Uh, let me see. It says that it is um, 18 inches by 21 inches. I don't know. I'm going to use this gray material to, you see those yellow strips up there? That's what I'm going to use this gray material for. So hopefully it will come out correctly. Wish me luck. All right. So this is terrible, guys. Um, this material, it's like, it's too small. Um, it's like just a square. Oh, so I'm trying to cut this and <laughs> this is not coming out right. These are my shears, but I use these shears to cut everything from hair to plastic to you name it, okay? So we are trying to cut this material here. And, oh my God, this is just a mess. I'm telling you, me and DIYs, we are not best friends. And you're probably wondering why I don't have my phone set up on a tripod because my kids are crazy okay and they keep messing with the tripod and I literally have to put my son in a chair so that's what we're doing okay so I've cut the material I got two pieces from the one I don't know what I'm gonna do maybe maybe I like sew them together and then it's gonna look so ugly and then like elongate it so it's like one big strip I should probably iron it. Um, whatever. Even my phone is telling me I only got 15%. Something's telling me I shouldn't be doing this vlog. But we're pushing through. 